Nikos Kolyos Lego, I'm the director of My name is Nikos Kolyos. I am the editor of um, PEM2C and a professor at the Supreme Ecclesiastical Academy in Thessaloniki. A question for Father Kaliakmanis uh, pertaining to his first slide, the first transparency, which we saw. Uh, how many likes it takes uh, to measure happiness. I want to share with you one of my experiences in Facebook, which is as follows. Uh, I think it's uh, known to everyone uh, almost. Uh, so very, very soon, uh, when one has a pleasant moment uh, somewhere else, uh, one does a check in and shares with the friends uh, where uh, with the friends uh, to whom uh, he adds this. Um, a few days ago, a friend of mine had uh, told me that he had his um, wedding anniversary and uh, his uh, relatives asked him, why didn't uh, you post anything on the wedding anniversary? Um, and he said, that, well, I will do that for you because we wanted to do ad and show uh, the um, good clothes, the nice clothes that we would wear, etc. Where do I want to uh, end? It is very usual and common in the social networking media for people to want to show their own success story, even if we know that behind all that, behind the scenes, there is a whole tragedy. Uh, so people want to show that they lead a successful life and share this with thousands of other people. I want you to judge this theologically speaking and uh, from the part of the pastoral care. It's a very nice question, but uh, it would demand a very long answer. I thank you for this question. Just briefly to say that uh, I think that if one has a healthy relationship uh, with others uh, in uh, the real life, uh, success does not depend on the number of likes. And a second thing is that uh, we should focus on acceptance and uh, the concept of acceptance, of being accepted by others. And allow me a third comment on the basis of what you said in the end of your remark. Obviously, since in real life uh, we don't have uh, the uh, relation of love as this has been um, described uh, by uh, Mr. Kenneth earlier, I think that we find a way out through the internet. This would be my brief, my short answer. Now, where I would personally focus uh, would be on the personal relationship of people and their relationship with Christ and the saints. And I think that this is a key thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, first of all, I'd like to thank all speakers for giving us um, a part of themselves, for sharing with us. Uh, now, um, Father Vasilios, on the basis of what you said, my name is Antonio Stylianakis, Father Antonio Stylianakis from Thessaloniki. On the basis of what you said on virtual reality, I think that sometimes we place too much emphasis on uh, virtual reality. Since I am a psychiatrist at the same time, I think that every one of us has a virtual reali reality in uh, them. And um, uh, sometimes this virtual reality of the internet um, uh, helps us get rid of the mask. You said that some people might manifest hostile feelings, etc., and they might be Christians. But sometimes, let me point out that this is uh, helpful. Why is that? Because we uh, come in, uh, we uh, are against other people, and they t let us know some uh, uh, dire truths, uh, but this helps us know ourselves better. Yes, you might be uh, right, but when we talk um, face to face, we will never use such expressions. And this is where the difference between internet uh, violence and um, virtual reality lies, because uh, protected in the safety of my own house, I may
say uh, say anything I want, but uh, if I see someone face to face, no matter how much hatred I have or how much I disagree with one's views, I will never express myself in that same way. Of course, sometimes it might help make our life easier or help us identify some remarks. I'm afraid that uh, the internet many a times has unveiled our worse self. What uh, Ms. Natalia said uh, is correct. Many a times uh, she said that in the orthodox networks, social networks, uh, we see worse things than uh, the secular networks. Yes, well, uh, this uh, virtual reality, this virtual life, does not remain um, secret. Let me give you an example to that. Um, currently, many companies uh, recruit staff for other companies and they study the profile of these people first, uh, getting information and then adding this information to the personal interview. Now, this shows the link uh, of uh, virtual reality with reality that is part of our daily life. Thank you very much. We thank all our speakers. I think that we can take one more question for His Reverence and Metropolitan Nectarius. You said that um, you start with milk and then pass on to meat. Yeah, well, what do you mean by that? This was a very brief example. When we have someone um, who is taught for a year, who has been baptized, etc., and has only learned the basic, the fundamentals uh, of the religion regarding the gospels, the rites, etc., and uh, all of a sudden gets to know uh, others and the internet and try to uh, expand on the theories uh, of Maximus, um, the confession etc. You can understand that uh, uh, this person is not well equipped to interpret uh, the rights of our belief. Um, they cannot uh, take the sign of the cross correctly. Uh, in the regions where we are, it is very easy to have misunderstandings created um, uh, as uh, compared uh, to Buddhist uh, teachings uh, regarding the calmness uh, of the soul, etc. And this could all lead to a misunderstanding and instead of uh, making progress uh, in orthodox life, becoming a better Buddhist.